some of the library's best kept secrets online. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my screen share so that you all can um, look at the screen at my screen instead of at me. So let me see. Uh, uh, see. Okay, it looks it's telling me that I'm about to present. Now, can you? It says I am presenting. Okay. There you are. So I, I would like, before I begin, I do want to um, just a friendly reminder that, that if you move your mouse and go to the bottom of the screen, there is a turn on captions option. And it's actually very accurate, surprisingly accurate. So if you have trouble hearing me or uh, prefer to read, there's that option there. So we're going to start. Can I interrupt for a second? I yes. just want to say that I'm recording, and if you don't agree, turn your mic or your cameras off. Okay, thank where, you, Tressa. Where did that caption thing go? So um, it is. If you move your mouse on the screen, you'll yeah, see now it's there. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. But anyway, whatever. It's not. It's the captioning isn't working for you. That's. That is, uh, I don't know why that's not working. No, it should be okay. Okay. So I'm going to start today um, at the library's website, which you can see up here in the address bar is krl.org for Kitsap Regional Library.org. And um, I want to start with three new things that we're offering since this uh, coronavirus coronavirus has got us at home, there are three uh, resources that we have that are new. So you can see this black menu bar, horizontal menu bar at the top of the screen. I'm going to go to the middle and click on research. And what you see on this page is an alphabetical list of all of the databases that uh, we pay for with your tax dollars. Thank you for paying your property taxes. Um, and that are available to you for free with your library card. Wow. Okay. So one of the uh, things that we have done um, to serve you while we're all at home is that we have made the Ancestry, wow. uh, Ancestry database available from home. Oh, great. Usually, it is normally available only at in the library, a library building, and that is to help keep down the cost because it is a very uh, expensive resource. But while we're all at home, it is going to be available from your home, which is a, a I'm really excited about that. Another database that we have uh, subscribed to since we're at home, it's brand new to us, is Artist Works for Library. Um, right next to it. I want to show you this. I'm so, I'm really excited to use this. Um, so when I clicked on Artist Works, it took me to this screen. It is a product of RV Digital, the same company that brings us magazines. When you first go to this screen, if you haven't registered for RB Digital Service, you do need to register. And that button is up here on the right-hand side in the red uh, horizontal bar. I have already registered, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in qu quickly with my username. And this is a separate username and password that I have set up. It's not my library card information. It is something uh, different. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And then I'm going to check this out. And I'm going to access ArtistWorks. So this is an opportunity to take music lessons at home for free. Wow. Now, yeah, <laughs> um, look at this guitar, not just guitar, but you've got rock, classical, bluegrass, um, electric bass, fiddle lessons with Daryl Anger, one of my favorite musicians, banjo, mandolin lessons with Mike Marshall. 
Um, I went down here to uh, Katharina Lichtenberg, who is a top classical mandolin player. She is just fabulous. And I was kind of curious about what these classes entailed. So you can see um, up here, there are three tabs, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So I went to beginner classical mandolin. I'm going to click on that. All the lessons open up right here. I went to her overview. There are three um, videos. So then you click on the video that you want. Wow. And I click on the play button. Oh. Very cool. So yeah. all of these, I'm going to go back to their to the Artist Works main page by clicking up here in the upper left, clicking on artistworks.com for libraries. So all of these are now available to you for free. Wow! From the library website. Great, right? great website. Great service. Yeah. And I I am so excited about it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and close that tab. Um, so I'm going to go back up here in the upper left hand. I'm going to click back because that takes us back to the library. So that is Artist Works. Um, another new service that we're offering with the since we've been stuck at home. I'm going to scroll back up to the top because it's not they're not listing it here. But if you go to the download tab at the top of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that tab. And this is brand new to us, Audiobook Cloud. There are, um, today was the first day I explored it this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this tab, Audiobook Cloud. All of these audiobooks are available to you with your library card. There's no whole, there are no lines. Everything oh. is available all the time. Yay. There, yes, wow. isn't that great? It's all audio great. book. And I, so here you'll see in the middle, kind of in the middle of the screen, there's the hundred year old man um, yeah. who climbed out the window and disappeared. Yep. So down here on the lower, on the lower left, you click play. And it starts. Mm. I'm going to click pause. Now, uh, I, you know, you, you listen, let's say you listen for 15 minutes and you get interrupted and you need to do something else. Go, you click pause and then come over here to the lower right side, click set bookmark. Okay. Wow. The next time you're ready to listen, mm -hmm. you just go back to the uh, KRL website, you go to download, you click on audiobook cloud. And then I'm going to go back to the 100-year-old man who climbed out of the window, and I'm going to click Get Bookmark. Again, it's over here on the lower right-hand side. Yes. And then I click Play, Get Bookmark. And it starts where you left off. So this is so easy to use. Right. I'm, I'm really excited about this, this resource, too. Okay. That's great. Tressa, yeah. can I ask a question? Are we can you download those to an MP3 player or you do you need to listen on your computer or your laptop or your phone on that? Um that's an excellent question. Thank you, Janet. Um I've just started it is a new resource. I've just started to explore it. I believe that you do need to be connected to the internet in order okay. to listen. So okay. it would not work on an MP3 player. Um, but you would need to be connected to the internet. Now, I, I, as I said, it is new. I need to explore it a little bit more to learn more how to use it. But that's my understanding at this point. Okay. Um, and I'll take this as an opportunity to say that I'm, um, I'm going through this very quickly. I've chosen a few things that I um, sort of, uh, like I said in the beginning, our best kept secrets. There's so much on our website. If you are interested in learning more, please let us know. Um, let me know, let uh, Janet know, maybe. Um, I'm happy to uh, present more answer questions on any of these resources. 
So, Tressa, this is Lynn, and can I just confirm um, for our care receivers, they they would not necessarily have to be a member. I mean, have a have a, a um, library card. They could just go to the website and download all of this, or do they have to have an access with their library card? So, I, um, you know, that is such a good question. Now. I, for some things, you will need your library card number. Okay. Okay. Um, for those, for the things that I've shown you thus far, you do not right. need your library card number. Okay. okay the next, good. So, and you don't need your password uh, ever for any of these resources. And okay. actually, the next tool I want to share um, is one you would need your library card for. It is my. Um, the tool that I personally use the most. I'm gonna go back to research um, on the black menu bar and click on research. Oops. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it again. We've all seen that a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> my other my other favorite is when it comes on and it says, oops. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. lots of oops. <laughs> uh, okay, here we are. So research. These are in alphabetical order. And um, the first thing that I want to show you is Consumer Reports. Now, Consumer hmm. Reports has done something that I don't think any other magazine has done, which is it has created two distinctly different products. It has the magazine, which is in paper and includes topics of immediate interest, things that it may be seasonal, um, research that they have recently done. And then they have their online database, which is what we have subscribed to here. Um, when I click on consumer reports, Oh shoot, it's, you know what, it's remembering. It, sh it usually here will ask for your library card number. I think because I was playing with it earlier, it's just remembering that I already gave it my card number. But you do need to click here in the middle where it says consumer reports. I'm gonna click on that. And then it takes a moment to load. So this database includes videos, it includes um, articles. It also includes um, even links where you can purchase something from the website, from this website. So they have, um, I was surprised this morning to see when I, um, when I was exploring that it says how to choose and wear a mask during the coronavirus pandemic. And if you, if you look here, you can see you've got the best deals every month. Find out if your car has a recall. Well, this is interesting. Build a better sandwich on the right hand side. <laughs> Over here on the left, um, you'll see tips and tricks for getting groceries during the pandemic. Kill coronavirus in your car. I mean, there's all sorts of things at, in this database. Here are products tested in their labs. If there is a product you're specifically interested in. I'm going to scroll up to the top. Um, one resource that for, I, I've been using this resource since we got it. We've had it for, I think, two and a half years. You come over here in the upper right and click on this uh, carrot here. You go to My Benefits. It says, Welcome, library user. <laughs> um, our digital, the library's digital membership gives you access to some special um, information, bits of information. TV screen optimizer, so you can help you set up a new television. Deals, discounts, car recall tracker, so you can see if your car is due for, uh, has a recall on it. I love this, the best time to buy. This is brand new. So it is April, so they have these products, some of the best time to of the year to buy them carpet cleaners, a grill. I just, <laughs> I just purchased a leaf blower. Um, <laughs> but this is a great, it's just a fabulous, fabulous resource. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to go back to their main page by clicking on consumer report, consumer reports here. 
So um, this is a, a very, um, it just, it's exciting to me that we can offer this particular yeah. resource. So another one I wanna share with you, and I'm gonna go back to krl.org and I'm gonna click on research, and then I'm gonna scroll down. <laughs> You also have free access to the Kitsap Sun newspaper. Oh. Uh, so, and you can see the Kitsap Sun um, as it appears in paper. So I clicked on Kitsap Sun and then I'm gonna scroll down just a bit because I'm going, I wanna look at uh, this, the image. Okay, I wanna see what the newspaper looks like in its paper form. So I'm gonna click here where it says Steps on Bremerton, Washington. And I can see this is working because in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that circle going, but oh, here we are. It says recent issues. So let's look at today's issue, April 23rd. And here we go. That's today's Kitsap Sun for free. Oh, great. Awesome. From, from your <laughs> library. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Um, there are, you can even, if you look at this menu bar at the top, this gray menu bar, you can email a link to a friend, although I haven't tried that yet. Um, but you can print. You, I mean, you can download. There are all sorts of things that you mm -hmm. can do here. Over here on the right-hand side, you can turn the page. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Is. isn't this isn't this fabulous? I'm so I I'm so excited about this. Um, if you come up here again to the menu bar, you can also turn the page by clicking on the arrow. You can choose the page if you know where it is you want to go in the paper. This is a great resource. I really, really appreciate the opportunity to see the paper as it is, um, yes, a, yeah. as it is in printed form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So, and this that's this is another resource that you know I can talk about in more depth another time. I'm going to go back to krl.org, click on research. And I want to show you, this is just, um, I just think this is a uniquely fascinating resource that we have here. Um, and it is the Bainbridge Review. We have digitized our, our former manager, Rebecca Judd, worked with the Historical Museum, the Bainbridge Historical Museum, as well as I think Sound Publishing to digitize the Bainbridge Review from 1941 to 1946. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So this are issues of the paper during the Japanese exclusion. I'm gonna scroll down. Um, and you can, we are m missing a few issues, but really not very many. Um, people from all over the island worked to, um, to get all of the as many paper newspaper paper format papers we get you can search it um, I'm going to click on explore the Bainbridge review because you can see in here this is full text it's exactly as it looked like uh, in paper 1941 Wow. 1941, yeah. January 3rd. Um, what's fascinating about, I mean, there are many, many fascinating things about seeing it in this format, but to see um, where things where things were placed, um, to to read the names of people that whose families are still on this island, um, to read about the, what was happening in the in the camps, as, as we learned, uh, I believe it was last week that uh, the Woodward had, I believe, a high school student working as their journalist and reporting back to Bainbridge Island what was happening yeah. in the camp. Wow. It, it's just, this is fascinating. I had the opportunity to do a lot of that typing for uh, that the, to reclaim it because the ah. in, 
the ink was so bad because of during the war that they weren't able to use the right ink for it. So it it uh, demo it it went away, disappeared a lot of it. So we uh, a lot of us on the island did a lot of typing of of, of what was going on, which was great fun. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you so much uh, for that work and also for mentioning that. That was, yeah. I wasn't part of this project, but um, there were so many volunteers. I think you were one of maybe a hundred volunteers that right. typed every single word wow. um, into a database so that people can search it. And it was wonderful to talk to people, the volunteers, as they worked on it, they learned about uh, just learning about the history of the island. Sheila, you could talk to this more than I could, but um, just the, the joy that people were experiencing learning more about the island during that project. Really, really fun. It was it was it was fascinating. Uh, some of the ones that we did, of course, we ha we did everything. We typed everything, including ads for the grocery stores, and so, which was you know those kind of things were great fun. Sure. No, that's fabulous. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to krl.org. I think this is just the easiest way to navigate. I'm gonna go again. Click on research. And there are three other databases that I would like to mention. I'm going to scroll down here. Um, one of them is lynda.com, which is, uh, uh, again, we're all at home. <laughs> it is a, a site that has video classes about technology. So when I'm going to go ahead and click on lynda.com. When we first got this, started subscribing to lynda.com, I thought, oh, here we go. Um, let's see. Okay, let me get in here. So when we first started subscribing to this database, I thought it would be mainly of use to, uh, to patrons who were already fairly technology, savvy in technology. Um, and I, I don't consider myself in that group. However, when I explored here, there's there's a lot here. Uh, this is really interesting here in the front. You can see overcoming cognitive bias, <laughs> learn about cognitive bias, um, yep. improving your thinking, tech mm. tips. Um, mm. There is information about um, you know, learning how to use iPhoto. See, I'm just going to type that in and let's see what comes up. So learning iPhoto, installing iPhoto. There's, there's, you know, if you're interested in learning, I like that they have, the videos are all fairly short. Um, they, they'll break down uh, an, uh, an hour long class into three minute segments, which I really appreciated. Um, and it's video, so you can actually see what they're doing. Wow. It's really great. So another, um, another resource we have is Mango Languages. So this is a free language learning tool, which is fun. And I only have a few minutes here left, so what... I really want to show you Novelist Plus. This is a great place to go if you are wondering what you're going to read next. You just, you know, you just read a fabulous book and you want to know what you want to read next. I'm going to go ahead and click on Novelist Plus. And so let's see, um, someone name a book you've read recently that you enjoyed. Or an author. Oh well, Tana Hisi War. I'll put that out. Wander. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Tana Hisi Virgin oh. Wander. So I'm going to go ahead, and you'll see as I typed, it came out. So there's the author. I'm going to go ahead and click on his name. What is this one? And so here's some information about him. I can learn more about him if I'd like. But the water dancer. 
you can look at title readalikes or author readalikes. So if you go to title readalikes, I'm going to click on that. And here are some other books that they recommend. Oh, wow. Um, you might oh, yeah. enjoy, enjoy oh, the Conjure yeah. Women. And it tells you, you'll see the reason that Conjure Women is on this list, that it's set before the Civil War, as is the Water Dancer, and after it, as uh, Conjure Women is after it. Um, both uh, center on former slaves, so they're they're so it'll it'll give you a little reason. You can decide whether or not you would you uh, uh, you know the invention of wings, right? Oh, Southern fiction, yeah. fugitive slaves. I'm interested in that. Then you know that this this book might be interesting to you. Wow. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll up, and then I am going to go up here in the upper left to the back arrow. Um, and let's see. Oh, I'm looking for, let's go ahead, actually, I'm going to go ahead and click on the water dancer because right now we are, what we searched for was the author. So let's say we're interested in the water, knowing, maybe you read the water dancer with a book club and you want to know more about that book in particular. Um, here you've got reviews, so you can read about reviews. Um, more about this book. Let's go to more about this book. So we'll tell you a little bit about the genre, characters. Go to list and articles. I like this one. Novel. Novel something. Right. We'll look it up. It's called wow. no Novelist Plus. So it looks like this book, or we don't have discussion questions, um, but often if you look at a book and you look at these tabs and you go to lists and articles, if they have discussion questions, they'll, there'll be a link included here for discussion questions. Okay, let me go back up. This is a really, really great, um, yeah. fun resource. Yeah. Yes. Um, maybe you can't think of a particular book that you're interested in, but you really like, uh, uh, over here on the left-hand side, there's a list of uh, recommendations. I'm looking at fiction, adult fiction. Um, let's go to Canadian fiction because that's an interesting way to think about it. Let's go to... Historical fiction, Canadian authors. And here you go. Now you have a list of books with that specific, uh, wow. those parameters. So this is a really, this is a great, great resource. Yes, it is. Yes. Excellent. So I'm going to go back to krl.org and, um, I've been talking for half an hour, so I'm going to stop there. Um, but I do want to say that we are um, again. I can I'm, I can talk about library resources for um, until you just can't stand the sound of my voice. I can. <laughs> um, I do want to say the library has uh, canceled all of our programs through the end of August. All of our uh, Impson programs. Um, I am happy to, and actually you can contact me directly. Um, I'm checking my work email every day. Um, if you come up here to the top to contact and it says our people, I'm going to click on our people. And I am a librarian, so I'm just going to go click on uh, librarian and then filter. So here's um, John, my colleague John at the Bainbridge Island, and and here is uh, here's am I, and this is my work email, T Johnson at krl org. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll get back to you as as quickly as I can. Um, that's that's how you reach me. So I'm checking my email Monday through Friday, usually at 
very, very early in the morning, <laughs> five o'clock, five thirty, because that's that's when I wake up. Um, and next Thursday, Janet has asked me to talk about a practical internet a privacy. And I'm working on that presentation. I'm I'm hoping that it will be about 20 or 25 minutes. And um, it will, it's one that I started developing when I, uh, before we closed. So it is a new presentation. Um, and I hope you're able to join us for that as well. Oh, great, great, Dressa. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, yes. does anyone have any oh, wow. questions? Does so anyone have any questions? On that, on that one about the novelist, is that one that you need your library card for? Um, let me see. I, you know, I believe that you do. I'm okay. on my work computer right now, so it may be letting me in because I'm on a I'm on a computer with a a, a special connection to the library. Okay. Um, and I wish that um, I wish I could make it bring up. Generally speaking, what I expect it to do is that you do need your library card, your 14 digit library card. Now, if you don't have that number or you can't remember it or you're typing it in and it just doesn't seem to be working, please give me a send me an email. Okay. Um, with um, I, although I am at home, I do have access on this computer to your library account. So I okay. can find your library card number. What I need is your name, your birth date, um, and your current mailing address. Okay. Uh, and that information is because we take your privacy extremely seriously. So even the, even when people email me and they're using the email that's on the account, I generally ask for an additional piece of information um, because uh, it's not my information to share. I want to make sure that I am emailing with the person that I uh, with oh, yes. I'm sharing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. 